Hi there, Simon from SimonWood.com. No, I have two rather, um, well, dressed up bottles in front of me. Um, and uh, before I tell you what they are, just from your first look at them, which do you prefer? Do you prefer mm -hmm. this one that's got, it's got you won't, you won't be able to uh, see maybe, but it's got a, a textured feel to it, or this one uh, that has got all the flowers on. Uh, I've been having, they, they've been sitting in the kitchen for, for a while, uh, and uh, every time someone's come in, I've asked them which they prefer from the packaging. And uh, virtually everyone has preferred this one. Um, and uh, they look at this one, and uh, the average comment is, it looks like bathroom wallpaper. So apologies to Nicola Foyat the, that uh, your, what are you calling it, the uh, Floral Sleeve Limited Edition um, yeah, gets the bathroom, water, bathroom wallpaper vote. And my grand's bathroom wallpaper uh, was uh, more, occurred more than once. Anyway, uh, we'll get onto my grand's bathroom wallpaper in a moment. Uh, but first of all, we'll do the first one, which is Freshenet Prosecco. Yes, Freshenet, the Carver people, uh, are, are now doing Prosecco. I don't know if it's a, a case of if you can't beat them, join them. Uh, personally, I, I uh, have to say that not really talking about the cheaper end here, but if I had the choice of spending uh, 15 pounds uh, on good Carver or good Prosecco, I'd, uh, I'd probably go, I, th I, think that, I think that what you get from, from Carver is uh, a little bit more interesting. Um, but uh, I'm very always willing to be proved wrong, and wine for wine, I know that's some great Prosecco out there. I'm a Nino Franco fan myself. Anyway, uh, so, uh, I don't know if it's got any vintage on here, but um, uh, if it's judging by most Proseccos that are available this time of year, it will be a 2016 vintage. So let's give this one a whirl. Gentle, appley, a slight, uh, I often get this pumice-like character coming through in Prosecco. A bit of ripe green apples. Smells clean, fresh, friendly, and um, let's have a sip or a sup. Yeah, decent enough, a bit of toffee. Oops, rather a lot in there. Um, um, and this appley, pumice-like um, grip. It's not hugely complex, but it's okay. It's Prosecco. It's, um, um, and uh, it's a rather nicely presented Prosecco. And uh, my wife has her eyes on the bottle already. Uh, so the second one, uh, we're in Champagne for uh, Nicolas Foyat Brut Reserve in its um, floral sleeve. So let's give this a whirl. Now, I don't know whether this is different from the regular um, Nicolas Foyat Brut Reserve. It smells... Um, it smells like it's quite a mature wine here. It doesn't feel like it's it's one of those that's young and almost uh, going to be aggressively sharp. It smells like there's a little bit of a toasty, uh, almost honey development. And it certainly smells more winey than the slightly frivolous, frothy uh, Prosecco. It smells more interesting. And it is more interesting. Uh, more depth, more richness. Some people prefer the Prosecco because the champagne has that little bit more tartness and sharpness. But in terms of depth of flavour and different layers of flavour, there's that toasty, biscuity edge, a little bit of the brioche, uh, a little bit of the crystallised pineapple, and uh, yeah, some of that toasty, nutty development as well. So, um, wine for wine, the, the, the Nicola Foyat is a uh, better wine. Packaging for packaging, uh, the Freshenet wins hands down. Interesting thing is, I think, I don't know whether they still do it, but Nicola Foyat used to do uh, a bottle that was not dissimilar to this, not a clear glass one, but uh, um, a, a green glass one with these ripples on. Uh, maybe they should be uh, uh, making more of, an, of, of a show of that rather than having this the, the, with its spring sleeve. And I, I don't know if you can see, I've, this has been in my wine rack and already the floral sleeve is starting to, to, to peel off. That's not very high class for me. Uh, the wine is uh, certainly pretty decent and deserves uh, a little bit better packaging. Uh, so maybe they should uh, uh, just get in league with Freshenet and do uh, a Freshenet Foyat combo. But... Um, £28 for the floral sleeve that comes off too easily, £12 for that. I think I'd actually take a bottle of that rather than two of that. I, I do prefer it, but uh, I know lots of people who do it the other way around. Hey.